Modeling is a tough job. There are many barriers to break down and hoops to jump through to make it to the top. But these transgender models are claiming their space in the fashion industry. There's no glass ceiling too tough for these models to bash. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. And while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up. Let's begin. Angela Ponce Miss Universe lifted its ban on transgender women joining the competition back in 2012. But no openly transgender woman has ever qualified for Miss Universe until this year. Angela Ponce beat out 22 women for the title of Miss Universe Spain in July 2018. She is set to represent her country in the 2018 Miss Universe pageant in December. This native of Seville is no stranger to pageants. She made waves and represented Cadiz during the 2015 Miss World Spain competition. But she lost out to Miss Barcelona Mireia La Laguna Royo. But Angela Ponce didn't let this crush her dreams. Her IG caption reads, My goal to be a spokesperson for a message of inclusion, respect and diversity not only for the LGBTQ plus community, but for the whole world. Lena Bloom Victoria's Secret is not the most inclusive brand in the world. The fact that they call their models angels mean they have unattainable standards about them. But this model is undeterred by such limits. Lena Bloom is an Afro-Filipina transgender model who believes that Victoria's Secret needs to diversify their heavenly roster. Bloom broke barriers back in 2017 by being the first openly transgender woman of color to appear in Vogue India. She's walked the runway in New York Fashion Week that same year for the label Chroma. Bloom started out with a passion for dance, finding a safe space face as a trans woman in the underground ballroom scene of Harlem. She aims to make the modeling industry a space that welcomes all and treats all fairly. She says, we all have unique stories, we are just different and we have every right to be. Carmen Carrera Carmen Carrera made a name for herself on the third season of reality show RuPaul's Drag Race. Back then, she was identifying as a gay man. It wasn't until she turned 25 and finished filming for RuPaul when she started her transition. Now, Carmen Carrera is an openly transgender model and activist against AIDS. She says, I wish people would realize that our experience is a real one and we just want to be accepted and seen as equal. Carrera is the first transgender person to get married on reality TV. She married her partner Adrian Torres and now stars on Couples Therapy. Carmen also opened the show for Chroma in the 2016 New York Fashion Week. We're sure to see more of Carmen Carrera on the runway. Monroe Bergdorf this British model was the first transgender model to be a part of the L'Oreal True Match campaign in the UK. However, she was dropped by the brand due to her controversial rants on Facebook. She is an activist still fighting for transgender rights and acceptance in today's society. In September of 2017, UK brand Illamasqua hired Bergdorf to be the face of their beauty spotlight campaign. The cruelty-free and vegan makeup company stated that Monroe embodies diversity and individuality. She's not scared to be truly herself. Bergdorf was appointed as part of the Labour Party's advisory board on LGBT rights. She stepped down from the role due to attacks by tabloids and conservatives. She writes in her statement, I don't want to stand in the way of the board serving as a positive catalyst for change within the UK's LGBT communities. ISIS King to land on the hit show America's Next Top Model is a dream for many aspiring models. Isis King changed the game as the first transgender contestant to ever appear on the show. King was in the middle of her transition when she appeared in the 11th season of ANTM. Her time on the show displays the challenges transgender people have to face. ANTM showed everything from the nauseating hormone injections to the transphobia from other contestants. But there were also opportunities for Isis from the show. Tyra Banks arranged for her gender reassignment surgery, which was completely Completed in 2009. King also returned to ANTM for the All Star edition of the 17th season. In 2012, Isis became the first openly transgender model for American Apparel. Aris Wenzer. Iris Wanzer is a fashion enthusiast at heart. She was attending the Art Institute of Miami when an agent spotted her and immediately signed her. Since then, Iris has been modeling for Vogue, Vogue Italia, and Forbes. The strut star was even the first transgender model to appear on the cover of Spiegel, an American retail catalog that's been around for 111 years. Wanzer looks amazing in print, but she also knows how to work the runway. She's walked for labels in New York, Los Angeles, and Miami Fashion Week. Iris also worked with world-renowned Patrick to Marshall Ye. Aris made headlines with her open letter to Kendall Jenner, who she believed cheapens a real model's entire experience. Late Ashley De La Cruz 
there are only a handful of transgender men who are breaking barriers in the modeling industry. Laith Ashley De La Cruz is one of them. He caught everyone's attention when he posed for Bruce Weber in Barney's national ad campaign back in 2014. Since then, Laith has walked in New York Fashion Week, starred in Oxygen's reality show Strut, and posed for Diesel. He also bared it all in rounder bum underwear for the brand's ad campaign. Laith Ashley made history when he joined RuPaul's Drag Race as the first transgender member of the pit crew. Also known as Scruff Pit Crew, this group of muscular men are often dressed only in underwear while assisting RuPaul and the contestants. Valentina Sampaio Many models and celebrities dream of landing the cover of Vogue. It's a glamorous photo shoot that highlights your prestige in the fashion world. In 2017, Valentina Sampaio's wildest dream came true. She graced the cover of Vogue Paris in March. The Brazilian model is the first openly transgender model to be on the cover of any Vogue. This incredible milestone is a game changer not only for Sampaio but for all transgender models. Brazilian fashion correspondent George Grimberg tells BuzzFeed, The big evolution we're seeing here is the fact that Valentina's been put on there to be seen as a beautiful woman, which she is. Period. Valentina is working to diversify the fashion industry using her own face to champion the cause. She says the fashion industry is an instrument to raise flags promoting diversity. Fashion is a world that's freer. Castle MacArthur Castle MacArthur found a safe space to explore his sexuality and cosplay. MacArthur had been modeling ever since he was 10 years old, but he wasn't sure if he would enter the industry as a trans man or to keep it under wraps. Ultimately, he decided to be open about his identity. He tells Refinery29, being open about my gender in the industry, I don't have anxieties over people finding out I am trans. Castle posed for photographer Collier Shore and was featured in Italian Vogue before his surgery. This opportunity led to a 16-page spread in W where MacArthur was shot by Steven Meisel. Since then, Castle has worked with Kenneth Cole, Mark Jacobs, and Coach. This high fashion model is all about educating the fashion industry about being transgender inclusive. Inez Rao while most models aim to be on glamorous magazine covers or walk for the biggest names in fashion, Inez Rao took a slightly different route. The French-Algerian model is the first transgender playmate in Playboy history. Inez was granted the coveted centerfold spot in the magazine for the month of November in 2017. Rao has also appeared in American Vogue and Italian Vogue, proving that you can pose for both magazines while staying classy. Inez also landed a Balmain campaign and a jewelry campaign with Alexis Pitar. She's not afraid to bear it all for the camera, as she starred in a nude photo shoot with Tyson Beckford for OOB magazine. Aside from her stellar modeling portfolio, Inez has many other projects ahead. She signed a book deal and shot for a film after her Playboy stint. Juliana Huxtable Juliana is a woman of many talents. She's not only a fashion model, but she's a visual and performance artist, DJ, nightlife host, and writer as well. The transgender model is the co-founder and host of a project called Shock Value. The project is a New York City-based party that is inclusive to transgender people. Huxtable believes that LGBT nightlife in New York was very much oriented towards gay men. Her project provided a space for anyone in the LGBTQ community, particularly the trans, to connect with music, art, and fashion. The New York Times called Shock Value as much as an art project as an occasion to dance. Juliana has also walked the runway for brands like Hood by Air and DKNY. Gina Rossero Gina Rossero always used fashion to express herself. It wasn't until she was 15 that she decided to give modeling a try. She was soon discovered by a photographer and signed to Next Model Management. Gina was steadily booking gigs like Macy's catalogs and Haynes campaigns. She even starred in John Legend's music video too. But she wasn't openly transgender until the middle of her career when she gave a TED Talk that went viral in 2014. It was on International Transgender Day of Visibility when she gave her talk and came out as transgender. Now Rossero Rosero is a producer of her own organization, Gender Proud. It aims to empower marginalized transgender communities, making them aware of their rights. Gina runs a production company in the same name, making trans-focused and trans-specific content. Cami Sid this 29-year-old model is also a transgender activist. Kami Sid is the first Pakistani transgender model who wants to change the game. Pakistan is a place where harassment and discrimination against transgender folk is still prevalent. Sid is trying to get it into people's heads that transgender people are not second or third class. Her way of putting trans people onto the main stage is through fashion. She tells The Guardian, You have to make a space for yourself in the fashion industry. You can't let yourself be degraded. Sid has posed for a Pakistani magazine, Liba, 
Shiraz and was flown to Denmark for a shoot. Kami Sid may not have many allies in Pakistan, but she's not leaving home. I know how to break stereotypes, darling, she says. Leah T. Another Brazilian model breaks barriers with Leah T. She was raised in Italy and is the muse of Ricardo Tichy, the former director of Givenchy. Leah was named a transgender pioneer for her Givenchy fall winter ad campaign in 2010. She posed alongside Kat McNeil, Malgozia Bella, and Maria Carla Boscono. This stunning model has appeared in Vogue Paris, Redkin, and Interview magazine. In 2011, Leah T made headlines when she appeared in a cover shoot for Love magazine, Kissing Kate Moss. Leah made it into models com's top 50 list that same year. She tells the cut, People are opening their minds. When I started, we were more like jumping in the dark, you know? We didn't think about being first because we always existed. Now it's getting better. There's much more visibility. Amelia Maltep Amelia Maltep is a glamour model with big dreams. She grew up in a strict Muslim family in Bangladesh, but her eyes were open when she moved to Toronto to study. Amelia suffered a lot of bullying when she was young and living in Bangladesh. After her breast augmentation surgery and her coming out as transgender, her family initially didn't accept it. Amelia understood since her parents are very religious, but they have come to accept her decision. Now, Amelia is a business accounting grad who dreams of joining Miss World. She is currently the founder and CEO of her own online boutique, so chic in Toronto. We're sure that we'll be seeing more of her as a model and perhaps a beauty queen in the near future. Which transgender model is slaying the most? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.